Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today we have quite a special guest. Uh, we have Julian Frederick Nelting, Secretary General of the current Bimun Sinop. I lived in uh, Italy and in, uh, in uh, America, Rome and New York, and uh, I studied acting, so something a little different. Oh, acting? Yes. So, like an actor? Like an actor, yes. I did actually act, yeah, oh. off Broadway. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I often had an impression that politics and field of theater have something in common um, in a way that they both present some idea, they both are uh, person in front of the camera. Do you think there is something similar? Th there's definitely something similar because I, I believe that nowadays uh, the politician is, is, uh, can hardly be just himself, mm -hmm. you know. Um, he also sometimes just says lines he, he rehearsed as as an actor does um, but it's 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 I believe that there's always a lot of pressure because you're always in the focus uh, in both jobs um, because w every time you know you you uh, in the parliament or something your all eyes are on you if you're in the theater all eyes are on you and and that does have an effect on you and uh, I think that's similar uh, let's right. talk about B Moon, what is going on? Are you walking around committee as well, having a look? What uh, is yes, going I on? try to to always have a peek and uh, sneak into the committees and have mm -hmm. a look how how they're doing. Um, a couple of councils, I successfully always went in when there was unmarried caucus, mm -hmm. um, but I still uh, still try to get them, especially the ICJ, which is a little different format. You know, they're always somewhere else um, when writing um, positions, and uh, I was like, okay, I come back. Um, but I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm following it and I, I, I see the work and I'm, uh, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I was just impressed um, by the atmospheres, you know, when, when the, the people are listening to each other and uh, you really are focusing on the task at hand. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Alexandra Avcinikova. We're coming with a special program. You might have guessed that journalists are not only um, Disturbing people with a dark sense of humor, uh, we are also very modest. That is why we decided uh, to dedicate this special issue to ourselves. Now you're going to listen to some impressions of our best journalists. Thank you. Yes, I'm never going to forget the moment when a delegate, I think he was a delegate, no, he was representing Siemens in the Security Council, and he came to me and told me, I want to be interviewed. <laughs> I want to uh, this, uh, be interviewed because I have uh, noticed as, uh, there are corrupt people in my in my committee, and I have I just told him, okay, I'd love to take a picture from you from you, and he was just eating an apple, and do and did like that like that, and I was staying there, and I was enjoying the moment like, okay, this guy is really <laughs> living the experience. I actually had a really good time reporting on the ICJ and because they were dealing with an issue between Iran and Iraq and that's kind of in my area and so I tried to stay very neutral and um, I think it was very interesting to see the um, pleads and all of the um, judges really getting at the councils so I really enjoyed that. Um, there was a story about a threat, a death <laughs> threat in one of the committees where uh, um, uh, a director of some company sent a threat to some delegate and that was quite interesting to see that corruption uh, also uh, takes place in a simulation as it does in the real world. There were people who had a really interesting choice of clothing and uh, that was really easy to write about because it was mentioned numerous times what to wear and what not to wear and hot pants, not a good idea. Mini skirt, no. Nice to look at, but not acceptable. What impressed me most was uh, how uh, realistic the simulation uh, turned out to be. It has been an amazing experience. I learned a lot. I met a lot of new people. Uh, of course, that I will uh, encourage all my colleagues uh, to participate in such MUN. Well, I learned that the international MUNs are far better than just the domestic ones. I've been to a lot in the United States, and they're fun, and they're, you know, high-level committees, but it's just the experience here is so much better. It's 
everyone gets to know each other better because of all the night events and the really, really highly skilled delegates. So. It was a great experience. I met really interesting people. We had a great discussion and also the city of Bonn is a really beautiful city. Very great experience to be in an international culture and see a lot of people from different uh, from different uh, uh, countries and it was a very uh, special thing for me. This is a unique experience like I've been to this is my fifth MUN and this is very very unique with all the people and the venue of the place and the atmosphere and the and just how the how professional it is. So I would when I went back last year to the States I was like everyone you should come to this and uh, I think I'll do the same this time as well.